Page 79, this is the Hannon number 2 exercise. This one is a sequence going up and down, like most Hannon studies are, but now the notes are jumbled up. So let's take a look at this carefully. Once you have the sequence down, you pretty much got it memorized. Very slowly in the right hand, you have starting out on the skip a note like you did in the previous one. But now we're alternating notes. Three, two, and I'm, I'm just transferring weight finger to finger. I'm not trying to make the fingers do this. And you just keep doing that all the way up. In the second line, last measure, you get up to here. And then, in the third line, we start coming down. Left hand is basically the same thing in reverse. You, you're starting here and skip a note. So you get all the way up to the end of the second line, you're up here. Third line, you start coming down. Skip a note. When you put the two hands together, that's when you get to go crazy because nothing works. So you go real, 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 real slow. This is where we're doing it one note per beat, then two notes per beat, etc. Really can come in handy. So work this out very slowly until you get it. And again, I'm, I don't really see any point in playing it with you because that's it. I mean, I basically, I played it for you, more or less. So it's up to you to just work on these studies. These, these aren't really musical pieces you would play in a recital or something. These are pieces you use for warm-up. As uh, when you sit down to practice, you do your scales and arpeggios if you're doing them. At least do the scales. The scale of the key signature that you're working on, in this case C major. Do the C major scale, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And uh, then you could try one of these exercises, one a day, just do a different one, or until you learn it. I mean, stick with one until you get it pretty well. And then you can go to another one until you get it pretty well. But use them as warm up before you start practicing the actual pieces. It's kind of neat. How fast you go, don't use the metronome speeds in the book. If you have a hand in book, they get metronome speeds, throw the. How fast you go is entirely up to you. Now, there is a note at the beginning of each of these that say start an octave lower, because in the book, they do start down here, and you're going all the way up to here. Because it gives you more practice, more patterns. It doesn't matter where you start and end. The point is you're going to go up, and you're going to go down. So you decide, uh, I, I'm fine with here to start with. To, to begin at least to learn it. Just start here and then go up and then back down. And then once you get it and you really want to practice it, then you can start down here and work your way all the way up and all the way down.